There's a story behind my decision to uh, go back to graduate school. I had an Uncle Leo who died at close to 100, and at his funeral a few years ago, my brother, who's a couple of years older than I, turned to me and said, you know, if I live as long as Leo, I've got 36 years left in my life, and what am I gonna do? That started me to thinking. I had been a trombone player a good portion of my adult life, but couldn't play anymore because of hearing loss, so I started to think about what abilities I have and what other opportunities there would be for, my, for me in the future. My name is John Taylor. I got my PhD in developmental psychology at the Graduate Center. The Graduate Center is, and CUNY I should say, is a very unique place. Uh, they are more committed to diversity, I think, than other places, and diversity is often uh, spoken about with respect to uh, ethnicity, nationality, gender, rarely is age included in that diversity. And yet, if you think about why diversity is important in education, that it's to expose people to different perspectives, and then that's part of an educational accomplishment. And the Graduate Center was willing to consider a student who was 61 applying for a graduate program, whereas the other programs I applied to were, were simply not. Three of them wouldn't even talk to me. The other one interviewed me and, and said, well, you've been out of school too long, um, which I thought was code for you're too old. I think initially when I arrived here, there may have been a little bewilderment on some people's part, a, a little feeling out to see uh, who I was and what I was going to do here, both on the part of the faculty and the students. I think that the faculty and the students quickly saw that I was actually committed to what I was doing. I was working very hard. And, and they treated me with respect. The faculty were very supportive about my hearing loss. They referred me to people at the GC who might be able to help me. Uh, the students were wonderful. Um, I don't think there were, if you added up the age of any two students in my program that it added up to was to my age, but they were all very accepting and I, I, I learned a lot from them. And similarly, I think that they were able to learn something from my perspectives, from my greater years of experience. While I was a graduate student here, I had a graduate assistantship at Hunter. My dissertation was actually required many of the same skills that I'm using at Hunter and was related to the same area, looking at access to New York City's elite specialized high schools like Bronx Science, Stuyvesant High School, and uh, the looking at the admissions test and the validity of the admissions test as it might relate to the great underrepresentation of minorities and girls. And I believe that um, education is in a very important way to maybe achieve more equality in America. So that's the type of research I was actually interested in and it's worked out well for me.